it's MK and I am back with another stretch the sketch layout for you guys today. This one is the one that we will be working with from Creative Scrappers and I have pulled out my Creative Memories um, large circle cutter. So that is the one and it's the um, jumbo circle pattern is what it is called and I also have the cutting mat um, to use for this but I really don't use it since I have my glass mat so it just comes out of the set from a drawer. I also have um, all of these little circles and things from this uh, sticker set or thicker set and then from another thicker set from my basket I pulled out these words that say jammy party. I have a few six by eight papers that are from paper, um, paper rose and Vicki Booten. These are my photos of my cute little kids in their jammies that it's just so sad when they don't get jammies like these anymore. <laughs> from Coco Vanilla, I have one of these scraps. Um, this piece of paper here uh, was from a Not Just For Boys kit club. And then I have this one here from Simple Stories. So I do plan on making an eight and a half by 11 layout today, but I don't actually shrink the sketch, which is weird. I shrink my platform for the sketch, but instead of shrinking the sketch, I'm just going to move it off to the side. So that way it can still stay, you know, on my eight and a half by 11. It, it's, it's hard to explain. And I'm sure once I get started, you guys will understand, um, but I, yeah, I don't actually end up shrinking the sketch, which is weird, but I shrink my platform for the sketch because it's supposed to be a 12 by 12 and I'm only making it work for an eight and a half by 11. Now I do have to say that I wanted to make sure that I could make a light blue mat for my really cool game playing, um, paper going on here. Uh, <laughs> I definitely wanted um, to uh, make sure that everything worked before I officially cut because again I'm working with scraps and I did not want uh, you know I didn't want to mess up in all honesty so I'm cutting about an eight inch eight and eight and a quarter inch uh, circle and then I'm going to make it a little smaller so this one here with the blue cutter is probably going to be an eight inch circle. I'm not really sure. I forgot to um, actually look at the measuring um, before I went and did this but I just used the green blade on the inside and the blue blade on the inside as well and then I get a perfect cir matted circle. I mean these these tools are awesome for this and it's not too much of a mat and it's not too little of a mat. It is absolutely perfect. So um, I am going to ink in, in black ink. That way they stick up a little bit more on this uh, yellow paper. And I went with these colors because of the bright, fun colors in my kids' jammies. Because of the fact that, um, like I said, they don't get to wear these anymore. They don't make them in adult size. Um, and most of my kids are in adult clothing by now. Um, and so it's just kind of one of those sad parts. All right, so I'm gonna use the other side of that, um, of that game playing paper <laughs> and just use the white. And I'm gonna have a white strip instead because uh, you've got all this color and pattern and prints and things like that. I wanted something nice and calm, but I didn't want to use the blue, the light blue, because I didn't want to lose that matte from the circle. So I just decided to do white. And in all honesty, you're not gonna see a whole lot because of the fact that um, my kids' photos uh, are, are cut rather large. I did already mat them using my um, eight by six papers. And then that yellow paper that I showed you guys earlier was actually for a different layout. Um, and I ended up, it ended up getting stuck in this pile. So I, I don't really bring it back at all. If you guys noticed a yellow paper. Um, all right. So this takes a little bit of time. I am going to strategically put these little dots all the way around my circle, just like the sketch. And in all honesty, once I add the, the title, I really don't think the layout needs very much more. I love it the way that it is, but knowing me, it, I, it would bother me that it is still just plain Jane. And in all honesty, I don't add a whole lot more. So these alphas are sticky backed and sticky front. And so I just took the front off of the alphabets. And now I'm taking this Nouveau glitter. Um, I can't even tell you. Oh, I can't tell you what color it is. It's in mirror ball. Yes, that's what color it is. Um, so it's just a silver beautiful glitter and I went ahead and just rubbed my finger on it and I have to tell you guys that 
Um, yeah, it gets everywhere. I had glitter for days, uh, hanging around my craft room and whatnot. So initially I went ahead and I put the title exactly where it is in the sketch. And when it came to like the first word, the, the second word, I should say party, it looked great. But then when I went to go and add the first word jammies, it didn't, it did not look great at all. And so I decided to move it down to the bottom and go ahead and have the word, you know, the words, um, just taking up all that space between the two photos. And I really do like that. I do end up moving, um, or removing one of the little dots. So the P can lay flat. Um, and then of course I, uh, went and go, I, I go into my stash and bring back a couple of, um, this is me rubbing off the glitter because it was everywhere, like everywhere. I, I, um, not feather dusted, but what is it called? Mm. Oh golly. Swiffer, Swiffer dusted. I Swiffer dusted my, my layout, you guys, because the glitter was everywhere. All right. Also on this sticker sheet was a bunch of stars. And so because it is nighttime, I have decided that I'm going to put all these stars all over. And the funny thing about these stars is when you pick them up off the carrier sheet, no matter where you pick them up, up, up off at, um, it, it bends that one piece, uh, because the foam is soft and the top layer is not. Uh, so all my stars have a small little bend to them, but I don't think it's very noticeable. And then I went into my stash and pulled out a bunch of labels and things because I mean, honestly, I didn't need a whole lot. So I didn't really go digging too deep for what I needed. So I'm going to go ahead and put these simple stories, um, aqua stickers on. Now these simple stories snap stickers are from years and years ago, you guys. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Um, and then I found some um, stamp-tastic or scrap-tastic, scrap-tastic, tastic, um, word stickers from a kit long, long time ago. Um, and it just says uh, movie night. And then I can't remember what the other one says or not. I will be holding it up here soon. Oh yeah. It says uh, late night movie night. And that's exactly what it is. And I thought it was going to just kind of cool to have that, um, you know, those little monster game monsters in the back. Um, you know, I just loved it, you guys, in all honesty. So I'm really happy with how simple and, and still yet awesome this layout turned out. I really do like it. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I probably will go back and add a few black enamel dots. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, but other than that, I'm good. I love this layout. Uh, so thank you, Creative Scrappers, for making this sketch for us to shrink. Also, too, be sure to check out everyone else that is playing along with Stretch the Sketch. And uh, I will check y'all later. Bye. <laughs>